how was the process uh, of writing a short um, uh, with two people? Uh, well, I think uh, whatever, if it's a long film or a, film or a short film, writing together is a difficult thing. And I once asked the script writers, uh, they wrote uh, uh, compartment number six. It got like an award at Cannes. Uh, and, uh, and they said, well, you have to have children together. Because they're a duo and they're a husband and a wife. And I think they're totally right. Because like, uh, yeah, we, we worked more on the like idea itself together. We were more like brainstorming what could better serve the story. And once it came down, down to the details, you know, to the dialogues, to everything else, I kind of like took over and then I did them for myself. I couldn't imagine writing like dialogues with someone because it's, uh, you know, just the communication back and forth, sharing of ideas, it just takes so much time and then you forget what you were even thinking, you know. So, um, so yeah, all the dialogues and uh, all the details I wrote myself, we mostly together worked on the uh, concept and then on the like whole structure, how it could be structured better. Uh, so yeah, that was it. How long uh, did you work on the script? Uh, a semester, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. let's say. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how big was the crew on set? We tried to keep the crew as little as possible just because we were shooting in such a tight space in a mm -hmm. car, right? Uh, essentially uh, in the car we could only, because we didn't have enough money for a follow car, we didn't have enough money for a low loader, everything is actually shot while driving. So once you have two actors already in the car, you could only fit me in there, uh, a DP who would also pull focus, and then a, like, a sound guy. So basically it was always five of us barely fitting in the car, and we figured, well, if that's the whole filming gonna be like this, then we don't really need many other like people on set, like the same person who did costumes, did makeup also. We had, of course, uh, a first AD, we had a producer, etc. But uh, I don't know, in total, probably on set at one time, not more than 10 people, probably. Maybe you can uh, tell, tell about some problems and how did you solve them? Uh, the character, she draws like um, stuff on the, uh, on the window, which is like, uh, what's the word for it? But, uh, but yeah, um, and, uh, and for that to happen, you need a certain like difference between the temperature outside of the car and inside of the car. And whenever uh, we didn't need the windows to fog up, they would fog up. So we would have to stop and put like the AC on in the car and wait until it uh, drops down. And uh, when we needed to film uh, the scene where she draws the figures, uh, the the uh, the window never would never fog up so what we did uh, like uh, right uh, uh, by the filming location lives uh, a director a friend of mine and uh, she would bring boiling water out of her house uh, in a one in one large pot and another in like a um, kettle and we would basically it's very never recommend this to anyone we'd, we'd keep it like between our legs this and everywhere there's hot water and before filming we'd fog up the windows and uh, yeah, it was super dangerous, but uh, that's, uh, I don't know, probably the fastest way we figured we could do it. So I, thought, uh, I think that was the trickiest part. Uh, did you have to compromise on, on some parts? I don't think so, actually. I, um, uh, in terms of what was left in the film, we almost left all of the script in. We just got like one little scene, uh, two actually, but uh, uh, no. I think I, I wrote consciously the script in the way that, you know, it's very minimalistic, it's not very demanding, so I wouldn't say that we had to sacrifice anything, you know. Did you change something during the shoot? Um, you know, uh, actually, no. <laughs> okay. Actually, everything was in the script and everything was very, very, like, carefully, uh, uh, the, all the shots were decided beforehand, so we... T yeah, we didn't, uh, the only things we changed were because we didn't have enough time. We only had like six hours a night be because it was like filmed almost in summer. So like, yeah, one shot, if it was like imagined from, from another like spot in the car, we just didn't move the camera, we just panned. Uh, we just panned it because, you know, it takes a long time just to like rig the camera in different positions of the car. So there were a lot of like small changes like that, which I, I don't think really like... Uh, do anything to the film, really change anything. So I'd say thanks to like the vigorous preparation we did before, like uh, 
I don't think anything really. I, it's not. No, I can't think of anything that uh, was improvised on set. Actually, uh, how many shooting days uh, did it uh, took? We were gonna do it in three nights, uh, but one of the nights was very, very, very uh, stormy. It was a storm, and uh, there was a shot at the end of the film uh, with a train. Uh, which is like a few second shot. So we did that shot uh, and uh, it had rained so much, everyone was so wet, we just had to go home and cancel it. So in total, I guess we did four nights. And then uh, surprisingly, to film all the B-roll uh, of the like uh, out of focus city it took us like two more nights, just because it's, uh, firstly, we had to come to the decision to uh, unfocus the camera, to not film like specific buildings or whatever, because we thought that didn't look, uh, it didn't fit the film. And uh, once you have this idea of filming something out of focus, it's very hard to like drive around and how do you look for it? You know, what do you film? At least that was hard for the DP, I feel like, to, to mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah, now where, everywhere, but what, you know, it's hard to decide. So yeah, it took like two more nights just to film the B-roll. How was the process of, of casting? Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's probably different in the Lithuanian film industry uh, regarding actors. Um, we don't have that many, but all the professional actors, I mean, 95% of them really willingly help students out for free. And, and they always go, uh, you know, uh, the most known actors in the country. And uh, so we have like these great opportunities. But as I mentioned, after the screening, like, to get a good uh, old actor, it's difficult just because of, you know, scheduling uh, the clinic visits and scheduling like theater performances and all of that. Uh, so that was probably the most challenging part just to get anyone. So I was very glad that we got Arvidus Dapshis who plays the role because uh, uh, he was one of uh, two candidates actually by the end of it. And he was like totally perfect for the role. A uh, very magnetic presence, I feel like. And uh, in terms of young actors, I feel like we have plenty, so I just cast a lot of a lot of them. And, and uh, yeah, Yeva, uh, she seemed, I don't know, like uh, I think it's important for an actor to like be able to respond to your comments and be able to change your performance. Maybe she wasn't, you know, the best in the casting, but I felt like if I gave her a comment. She could really well react to it. And uh, and yeah, and then I don't know, finally they just worked uh, magically together, them two in the film. So 